my name is Haruna. I'm a rising junior. I currently study mole cell bio and medicines and the humanities. Over the summer, I've been working at the medical campus doing research. And in my free time, I've been doing some other things and I'd like to show you guys today. So I hope you enjoy. We are halfway through our class and we'll have a final exam, which is 40% of our grade. I finished my biochem class. It is Monday through Friday, two and a half hours every single day. And I'm going to head to the Jimmy Suck, which is the shuttle that goes from Homewood campus to the East Baltimore or the Medical Institute's campus. I'm going to head to the lab there. I've arrived at the Johns Hopkins East Baltimore Medical Campus where I work as a research assistant in Dr. Moon Jung Jung's lab. Her research is focused on bone marrow failure and Fanconi anemia. What our research is looking into is the proteins and the substrates involved with the DNA repair pathway for a condition called Fanconi anemia. And so that's a precursor to leukemia and being able to understand these pathways, being able to understand the specificity the proteins have for certain substrates is going to help us later utilize this knowledge in maybe fixing the condition. I've been working in the TC room, the teacher culture room, for a while now. Essentially, I had 24 cell lines over there, passing them into new glass over there, and then taking out certain specific volumes into these, that will then get transported into those smaller tubes. And there's a lot going on, there's not enough space, but essentially this is helping us take care of ourselves and preparing for our future experiments that we're gonna do. My PI was looking for a graduating senior to help as a research technician. However, I found out that she was new to Hopkins and was wondering if she wanted new undergrads for uh, mentorship and to just help out in the lab. So I sent her an email talking about my background and the classes that I was taking and what lab experience I had, which was at the time only chemistry and physics lab. And so I sent her an email and she responded really quickly and we had a Zoom meeting where she explained what her research was about and what role I would be filling in the lab. So now it's been about two to three months since I started working and it's been a lot of fun. I get to see what I learned in a uh, lecture in front of me and understand why we're putting certain chemicals in, why we're running certain procedures, and just being able to finally utilize what I learned in lecture has been the most satisfying part of it all. And then additionally, my PI, she's been my mentor for me in terms of research and for my uh, journey to medicine. And that has been one of the best things that I can get out of this experience. I got out of lab and now I'm gonna go meet somebody who is an MD, PhD, and they're gonna tell me how they chose to become an MD, PhD. I'm very excited for that. I got off of the shuttle and I'm currently heading home. I had a lovely time talking to the MD, PhD student who gave some advice and answered a lot of my questions. And now I'm gonna head to Hamden to a rock climbing gym called Earth Tricks and I'll see you guys there. I got into climbing when I was a freshman in high school and it's been on and off for the last, I think now six years, but I finally got into it more frequently once I got to Hopkins and at the rec center we have a climbing wall and the bouldering cave and I'm also on the club team which is called the Rock Hoppers and in there you'll get undergraduates, master's students, PhDs and postdocs and you'll have everybody. It's a lot of fun, I've made a lot of good friends there, and now I also work at the climbing wall as an instructor.
the last thing I gotta do is a little bit of my reading for tomorrow's biochemistry class. And once I finish that, I'll be heading to sleep. Hey everyone, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.